What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of the Memory Let's Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit that like button down below and subscribe for daily epic content on the channel down below. Also, my Let's Play channel, which has got Elden Ring and got the War Ragnarok on there. But also, a QA and a video in the, in the description as well. So you guys can give your thought, ask your questions, anything you want, obviously within reason, and I'll get to answer them when we get a lot of questions built up. So today we're going to do both legs of Liverpool game. I thought about doing this separately, but I thought, the problem is, if one game is a complete dead match, it makes the episode really, really weird. So, other than semi, obviously semi-finals on their own, um, and also finals done as full live comms on their own, but I think that this will do both legs, so one... Get this, get, get this over and done with. Uh, in case both game both games might be dead, like with both games might be one of victories for both teams or something, or one or one of them, and then there's no highlights barely in the, in the game. So to guard against that kind of thing, we'll just do them both together. So Liverpool at home first. We we could really do and getting like a really good result in this first leg, couldn't we? So um, games off camera. Let's take a look at them. The goals that we scored. So, Drew won one with Getafe. It was a game where we basically did what we always do. Uh, I'll do a lot. Which is, we went behind, but then we dominated the game. We just couldn't score the goals. We got an equaliser in, in, early in the second half. I thought, here we go. It's a good ball by Akimi here in the penalty area. And then it just falls to this junior. It was dominant performance um, in terms of, like, general attack. I mean, 3.8 XG uh, expected goals a turn. Just couldn't pull ball back in the net. It's that thing we get in our own way, I think, a little bit. But anyway, um, the league is probably gone anyway. Rotated the side against Sevilla, uh, mainly midfielders, in, and then we managed to destroy them in this game. 4-0 victory over them. Venetia did an early goal there. Ball the box from Tony Cruz, and then it came back out to him. Edge of the box, plays it out towards the net. So it hits it, and it goes straight for the goalkeeper for 2-0. It was a comfortable performance, really. It took a while to get the third goal, though. Cruz finds Hendrik. Back to Cruz. Back to Hendrik. Full on goal. Lovely little finish there for three. Um... Better team throughout the whole match. This time we just took our chances. No difference. Ball in the box from Nets here. Far post Rudiger. And that's when I started taking players off. Uh, like the full backs and Denise just came off at that point as well. Oh no, he did come off. Yeah, he, 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 he did come off, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, 4-0. That was basically the same kind of performance as the Getafe game. This occasion, no, we took our chances. That's the only difference in the two games, really. So it leaves League 2 looking like this. Um, we've not... The gap's not increased because I think they drew, Barcelona drew against Let's Go Madrid in the game that we drew against Getafe in. So we still can go five points behind with, with our game in hand, but I just don't think we've got enough in us to, because it's consistency in the league to, to overturn this deficit. Because I've got to bear in mind we've got to play Barcelona at some point, and I think they may beat us uh, potentially. So it's not a terrible season if we can get that game in hand. And win it and give you five points behind. It's just the silly draws we've been having. Look at the draws. Getafe, Elche, Girona. The silly draws that have done it. The defeats. Alright, yes, they're not great either. But it's the draws. We should be winning these games. Especially those two home games. And it's just really disappointing. So, um, we're going to go and look at the youth intake now. So, we've got a youth intake off camera. And we've got some top talents and some amazing talents. We've got Pau... Um, what's his name? I can't, I can't pronounce his name. Pau... Camacho? Camacho? Camasau, not sure how I pronounced that. Spanish midfielder, he's got four star potential. Uh, he is definitely been setting midfielder. Um, more, he's got he's got eleven marking already, but hey, it's early days, of course. But yeah, it looks a really good time. But for from this save, it, it's not really relevant because it's a short term save. We're in Champions League, we're through, we're done, we're done. Then we've got Lucas Martin here. <coughs> Who they say is on the was a, was a midfield right? He's not. He's a he's a he's a he's a defender. He's a defender, but he looks really really promising. I like him a lot. But again, this is not a long term save. This is not a long term save. Um, if it was, then this would be a, a gem of a player potentially. Uh, then you got two other talent. I'm not. I've not seen these guys by the way. I've not seen these two guys by by the way. We got uh, Ricardo Gonzalez again, three and a half star potential. Uh, maybe four and a half star potential. A cam, I don't play a cam, but could make him a certain midfielder possibly. And then we've got uh, Yago Candela. Again, look at that pace. I love that. That means he's going to be absolutely insane when he develops. He's going to be a very quick player at least. And he's actually, is he, he two footed? No, he's, well, he's sort of two footed. So he can play beside, but again, that pace is going to be insane. So yeah, not bad players there. So um, yeah, let's get to the action show, folks, against Liverpool. Um, I don't know what to expect from this team, honestly. Other than be, we could be very, very um, 
He'll do that, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, let's go with a positive man set. I don't want to go with two gung ho. Can they come in there? Basically, I I rotated the whole midfield uh, in the last game, so we'll just bring these guys back in. Um, and looking at the defense, I wish Mendy was fit. Mendy was fit. He's not fully fit yet. But I can put him on the bench though. I might try and get him off the off the bench um, at some point, and we'll go with that team today. Let's see how we get on, folks. Today um, we are going to have some fun. Uh, hopefully, I would like a, a a clean sheet and some kind of victory to take the second leg. I the ideally a two 0 victory here would be perfect um, because Anfield away is going to be a nightmare. Um, but we shall see what happens. Um, and actually. Before we go any further, I just want to check what we're doing with these guys. Make sure they're not. Yeah, we're good. Uh, I just can't remember if I had them marking players specifically because that problem with that is I like doing it, but I think it messes you. It it doesn't have any kind of intelligence with it, with, with you on tactic, you know. So we'll see. Um, let's see how we get on, folks. Today, that's a foul. Yeah, um, let's see how. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Rodrigo, Valverde, Hendrik. Oh, next, you've got to do better than that, mate. you got to be stronger. Salah's throw on goal. Salah, don't dive in. Clear it. Clear the balls. Clear the ball. Get it clear. Don't take touches in the penalty like that when, they, when, they, when Liverpool are out of possession. They'll just close you down. Kavinga, Nets, take him on. From the cross. Bellingham's in there. He's got to score. He, he can see it coming. He's got, the, he's got the momentum. He's got to get it on target, minimum. This is what I was afraid of. This, if I did this as a full life, come on its own one game. This is what we've had a highlight. So, um, nil nil, dead game. Um, but we'll take a sip. Oh, it's still a bit croaky, guys. I do apologize, but I, I can I can record. I've just got to record a video, then take a 10 15 minute break and drink and rest it. Um, yeah, we're not going to see many chances in the game. We're not we're not creating much either. Um. But yeah, uh, it's just, I don't know. I really don't know how to get this team to be better in these bigger games. I really, really don't. Salah, get get a tackle on him. I might, Salah's a guy, kind of player I love to sign in this, in this save. Like, Haaland's the one as well, I had my on. But it's just, is it realistic? We go to free kick. Goes for it. And it's in the wall. Well, it's hit the wall. Um, there's no way we're going to score a set piece from this, from the, against these guys, are we? Because they've got Dan Dyke in there for starters. Curled in. Yeah, easy catch on the goalkeeper. Go attacking now. Try and get a goal. Nets. Vinicius Jr. Akimi. Down the right hand side. Can you find a cross? He can. Rodrigo's in there. Goal! Real Madrid won. Liverpool nil. It's Rodrigo on his right foot. He really does favour that right foot. And at times, he it's a detriment to the attack. With opportunities on his left foot being maybe a better option if it's not ideal for him. Akimi gets the ball down the right. Does really well here. Beats his man. Finds a cross. Rodrigo, first time shot. Through the keeper. His legs, I think. 1-0 against Liverpool at the Bernabeu. That is a fantastic result. Uh, goal. And that's a big goal in this game. <sighs> Free kick next. Dinks it in. Really goes in there. Oh, it should have been two. Oh, that should have been two. Oh, that should have been two now. Van Dijk, Konate, Endo, well done, Bellingham, great ball, Benicius down the left hand side, can you pick out a cross, Benicius, Nets, Valverde, 2-0, that's the goal I really wanted, the two goal you take to Anfield is what I really, really am I'm after here, and now I'm going to make changes, make sure we don't get any injuries to players um, in critical positions, uh, just to get fresh legs on the pitch really, and just rotate, oh, that's a big goal, to get a 2-0 lead to take Sanfield is what I really, really need. Um, ideally, I get a third, obviously. But I, I start the game, I did say a 2-0 lead would be a dream to get. And well done, Nets here. Just takes a touch. Finds Valverde. Hits that shot first time. Keeper can't get across quickly enough. Finds that bottom corner exactly. And it's 2-0. What performance in the second half has been much better from us. And not many highlights again, though, but brilliant, brilliant second half. Valerio now Gomez. If we can get a third goal here now, but I think Liverpool may have get a maximum response to Liverpool here. 
Well done, Villanova. Yeah, oh, come on, get a third. Get a third. Rodrigo down the left hand side. Right hand side, sorry. And it's through. Oh, he's got to do better than that. And it's got to do better than that. Melito. Poor pass. But I'm going to be careful. Get back. Get, get across to him. It's Salah. It's Salah. Good save. Focus, 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 focus. Please. Two players actually dead on the feet, but I, I can't. I, okay, Mendy's going to come on for net. I don't have any. Pay, I don't have any. It's always my right backs that are injured at the minute. Um, can I do a change? I think I can, can I? No. Let's get those guys on. Um, and just focus, guys, for the next. Let's go positive. Let's focus. One well, the box. Get it clear to Minji. That's fine. Robertson. All of a sudden, Liverpool showing more, more, more threat now. Here we go. Oh, it worked. I thought he'd given it away. Leonardo. Hold it up. He's he, he support. Hold it up. Back to Mendy. Mendy. Ruiz. Linkovic. Oh. It's the wrong guy to fall to, honestly, isn't it? It's the wrong guy. If it's like a winger or somebody, that's a better opportunity. Uh, not a bad attempt, but it's not the guy you want, you, you want really hitting that, is it? Careful with the ball. Just get rid of it. Get rid of it in this area. Get out of this area. Get out of this area with it. You don't want to stay around there too long. We have given it away in those areas. Or we have in the past. Bellingham. Needs support. Bad pass. Good to the fullback. That was the pass to play. Well done, Rudiger. Just be oh, just safe passes now. Oh, what a ball that is. Leonardo. Cross inside. Bellingham. Rigo. Oh, shit. It should be 3 0, and that might have been the tie if that third goal goes in there. Suddenly, all the highs are coming out of nowhere. Rigo with the corner kick. Curls in the penalty chair. Mito's in the penalty chair. Cleared. Mendy. Endrick win that header. Fix on again. Rudiger fix it on. It's a different, it's a different animal at uh, 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 um, Anfield, though, isn't it? Endrick in his box. Shoots. Oh, a third goal will be. Oh, it's a free kick. I'd love a third goal, but 2 0, I'll take it. I'll take 2 0. Just don't concede the goal now. All of a sudden now, the highest just keep coming. It's really, really weird how this game's gone. It's almost like Liverpool will just... Don't mess around with it here. Play the pass forward. Come on. Give it to, give it to, to Menji. Give it to Menji. Oh, get rid of it. Get rid... Don't do this. They're going to... You're going to... Give it... Get rid of it. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. I don't trust you doing that against Liverpool. I don't trust you against doing it. Because you give it, you've proven too many times you give it away. We score a goal in this, though. We score a goal in this. is brilliant, isn't it? Here we go. To Menji, has got to get on the target. I also trust them on the foot manager. When they're doing that, I've seen it more times as a ball being given away than a goal against us than actually a goal get, goal scorer for us. But it looks like we'll get a clean sheet, which is fantastic, if we can get it. Virgil van Dijk. Becker. Referee, please blow a whistle. Don't give them a goal back. Bellingham. Play it forward quickly. Get it for a goal. Bellingham, cross it in far post. That full time, full time. Remember two Liverpool nil. That's a great result. That's a great and a very good performance as well. But Liverpool will be a different animal in the second leg. I am convinced. I am convinced there will be a different animal in the second leg coming up. But we've got a two goal lead. If we can get the first goal in that game, we should be fine. Anyway, back in well, it's gonna be six days, so it's gonna be a while. So I'll be back. I'll be back. If I get any news come through, I'll let you know. So guys. Second leg now. I've changed tactic. I'm dropping the team back a bit. I'm feel they want more space. I'm assuming we can't. I don't. Think, I don't think pressing works on foot manager. How I think it. How I think how I want it to work. So I'm going to drop them back a little bit in this game, just so we're not overly extending ourselves in this game. But Liverpool at Anfield. It. I could be five up in this game and they they, they win six nil. They just they just do. Um, is this one? If there was one way game, I'd sim and never play again on foot manager. If I really did that on on this would be this. This 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 stadium and this 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 game because I hate playing Liverpool away from home. They're just annoying. They're good, um, but first leg we did really well. But um, I just don't trust this team. This team to defend against the Liverpool side. I want a boring nil niler, but I won't get it. Liverpool, well, Liverpool, I guarantee to play well in this game. We'll see what happens. Thank you for Liverpool. Killed in the Dyke. Clear it. Just clear the bomb, Andy. Clear it. That's fine. I don't mind you doing that in that situation because it. it, it don't take, don't take any touches on the ball. Kanate. Go get the ball. Again, Salah, you're just too good, mate. McAllister, closing down. Goal. Yeah, it's been it's, that, that guaranteed to be a goal, that. Just, I don't understand why Liverpool is so good at Anfield and how you stop them playing. It's just like, no matter what I do with, with teams, they just seem to play well against the Liverpool. Again, it's poor from Hakimi here. He's got to do better here. 
he's got to be better. He's got to be better positioned. And then again, it's just it's lazy playing in the middle of the park. We don't track runners in the penalty area, and it's one of Liverpool. And this is what I didn't want to happen. I wanted I wanted an early goal first, not for them. Rodrigo, Rudiger, pass the ball. Bellingham, pass the ball for they close you down. It's like they have no idea where they're going to play the ball for. They get it. Louise, again, stop taking touches. Get rid of the ball into space. It's ridiculous. They keep giving it away. They just don't look where they're playing the passes. Look here. Get rid of it. Long ball over the top. Ignore the instructions in this situation. But you know he plays a low percentage pass to in Macaz are waiting for it. Look at where the position of the Liverpool players are. If they're marking them, launch it. But you can't get the game to do this. It's ridiculous. Two in the Liverpool, we're going out. It's nailed on. I don't know if I can do about it. Half time, just not turned up in his second in his second leg, and it's not a big surprise. Liverpool, a great, amazing, ultra, amazing, amazing at home. We just can't keep the ball. We can't. We get we get the ball and we're under pressure. We don't see danger and think, you know what? I know playing short passing on tactic, but we maybe should not do that here. Um, Liverpool can go screw themselves. I hope they don't feature the next year. Next year's the game. There's there's too damn good every fucking year. I'm sick of playing them in Champions League. Litao. No! Think about it! Hendrik, hold the ball up. Doing well here. Rigo! But Jesus, guys, think before you pass! Don't. I just hate this. I, Liverpool are the worst team to play against a foot manager. They're the worst team ever because they just always seem to perform. Well done, Rigo. Good finish. We're back in front. But focus for the love of Christ. When you get the ball, bink, get it out of here, 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 get it out of here. Don't do that there in five minutes to fucking go. Get rid of it. They are closing you down. Launch the fucking thing. Look, as you can see the danger here, get it to sodding fullback. He just stands there, he's off the bench, just out from the back. Position. He's just not working for us, is he, in this game? To Menji, Modric. Nets. He's in. Nets! Yes! I knew he was going to shoot. I'm furious with the team. How bad we are at playing from the back when we're under pressure. But Nets has won it. I'm so annoyed. How do you get your team to play off the back, but also go along when you need to? That's the thing we'd work out. But we're through. Launch it. Launch it. Full time. Liverpool three. Merged two. Four three on aggregate. But for the love of criminy, how do you get your team to understand when you're under pressure and they're closing you down late in the game and you there's no and you're getting bogged down? Launch the fucker. <sighs> Not good enough, but we got through. But yeah, Liverpool, you can go screw yourselves. I hate you with a passion. Um, you're just overpowered as an as a hell um, but we're through but we're through so let's look at the episode right okay so we've got basically it's Barcelona in the next three episodes isn't it and I think um, because it's semi final we've got to show the legs in the individual individual in, individually because I just think it makes sense um, actually no look at the fixtures I think what we'll do is we'll do them two off camp. We'll do obviously Barcelona next episode as a cup final. Then we'll do Barcelona on its own in the semi final first leg. Just the, just the first leg on its own. And then. Uh, because Barcelona's double headed back to back. <clears throat> but most, <clears throat> you know what? For the semi final, I'm going to do it on its own. I'm going to do it on its own, the semi final on its own. Because it, it means it makes sense. And then we'll do. Basically, it's, basically next four episodes are Barcelona games. Which is hilarious how it's worked out that way. Um, so we're basically three wins away in terms of achieving the aim, which is definitely doable. But again, it's the same thing here. We've got to dominate them. Got to dominate them here um, in the first leg, and then hopefully we can get. Some. But I, the reason why I'm doing it separately there because I don't like doing a game with, between the games. It's just not my style, my my ideal flow. So um, that's frustrating. I'm annoyed. I just don't understand how you can take. Geez, I want you to put from the back here. I get that. But, you know, what, you know what I might do? Take this off, these guys.
Yeah. Just do that. And they say, right, short passes, but when you're when you under pressure, launch the sort of thing. Um, anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another video, which will be the cup final, which hopefully it's not that important anymore. This is what we're focusing on the Champions League semi-final and try and get that victory. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you guys all next time. Bye-bye.